Hi guys, I uh, hope you're well. I'm, uh, I'm going to show you this video in the hope it'll help some people out um, and give them a better idea of why the airbag light on their dashboard is not actually turning off. Um, as you can see on this dashboard here we have the airbag light uh, which is flashing. Uh, we are in a Jaguar. Um, but the airbag light is flashing because there was a problem with the, um, the connection underneath the passenger seat. Now what we're doing here um, is we're going to use the iCarsoft i930 tool which is uh, for Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles and what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to go in and clear the airbag uh, warning lights just uh, turn these lights off here make it a bit easier to see possibly right so we're going to go into X-Type which is what we're in right now it's a 2001 model. I'm going to manually select and we want to go ahead and select the restraints control module. Alright, so we're going to read the diagnostic trouble codes. So we've got four codes there. Now a lot of uh, a lot of the misconception and what a lot of what what people believe is that you can just pick up a diagnostic tool, uh, clear the fault codes, and then it will clear the uh, the dashboard warning light. Whether it be an airbag light, an ABS light, an engine warning light, um, unfortunately that is simply not the case. Uh, you can do that providing you have actually fixed the fault. Uh, so what you would really need to do is look at these warning lights, look at what it's telling you. Um, in this case, it's got safety belt pretensioner. Fair enough. Uh, side impact airbag status and front passenger side it says here and then uh, passenger safety buckle. So uh, this led us to the conclusion it was a problem with the squib underneath the passenger seat. Um, now we haven't actually fixed that as yet. What I want to do is just show you um, this uh, sort of clearing the fault codes without actually fixing the problem. So it's asking us do you want to clear DTCs? We're going to click yes to that. Please wait. And it says succeeded to clear diagnostic trouble codes. Now, as you can see, the, war the warning light is flashing on the dashboard. Um, there we go, it's still flashing there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the engine off, take the key out, and then turn the engine back on. This effectively resets the system. And as you can see there, airbag light is still flashing it's not going out it's basically there for a reason it's telling you that you need to fix the fault you need to fix the problem um, if you don't fix the problem I'm gonna keep flashing that's that's all it's saying um, it's not it's not out to trick you um, as I say a lot of people don't know that you do actually need to fix the problem a lot of people think that you can actually just clear the fault codes and the airbag light will disappear uh, which is understandable and which is why I hope this video helps because uh, like I say a lot of people think that um, they can just clear the codes so hope it's a little bit of education as well for them and sometimes you just need to be told this it's not something that you would automatically know um, but if you're told and if you're given the right um, information then you can be helped um, so that's basically an explanation on why the airbag light will not turn off on a vehicle um, even though you've got the correct tools to actually uh, remove the warning light uh, you need to fix the actual fault uh, and that's the message that we're getting uh, across here uh, so thanks for watching um, this is uh, from diagnostic world uh, the iCarsoft i930 uh, we have many other diagnostic tools in there for all airbag lights, uh, for all vehicles on the market. So maybe just click the link directly below this video and it will take you to um, the pages of our website. Thanks so much for watching.